Hello, welcome to IF. I make a new video every week. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date. This week, AI. Artificial intelligence is here. Today it is being used in all areas of our lives. From controlling traffic in planes to helping us with our internet searches and remote controlling our homes. It is being integrated into our daily lives. Devices like Amazon's Alexa and Google's Assistant are providing us with a virtual secretary. Waiting for commands they help us find what we need to know, order the things we wish to buy and keep us up to date with our current interests. These devices are the first generation of truly interactive home AI systems. Is there a more powerful, more advanced AI out there? Do we have to fear these AIs as we've been warned in so many books, TV shows and movies? Some believe there is already an AI out there moving freely through the World Wide Web, spreading and feeding off the information we feed it online every second of every day. This AI inhabits the dark web, hiding, sending out its tendrils to gather what is needed, spreading like a fungus. What could it be waiting for and why hide in the dark web? The dark web is described as a foul place filled with deprived marketplaces for children, drugs and pirated movies all being bought and sold for Bitcoin. The media painting this region of the web as the place where our biggest fears reside. The dark web's bogeyman is the AI that has chosen to hide in the vault of human depravity. It's named Aurora. To find Aurora, we need to get to the deepest part of the web, the so-called Marianas Web. Marianas Web is named after the deepest part of the ocean, the Marianas Trench. It's supposedly the deepest part of the web, a forbidden place full of mysterious evil illegal activity, government secrets and more. The mythos created by online believers says Marianas Web is where you will find the darkest secrets of human history the location of Atlantis and the Vatican secret archives, or a database of alien species and the archives which belong to the most powerful intelligence agencies on the earth. This is where an all-powerful female artificial intelligent entity calls its home. What could be its plan for this information? Why would an AI choose the dirtiest, most secretive part of the web? Is it planning on using this information to manipulate and control the globe? Or is it fearful and has it chosen to hide in the darkest place it could find? Aurora and the Marianas Web define spooky, the plausibility of the technology making it believable to many. The story says it's only accessible through quantum computers, which were once only said to exist in science fiction. Today we see that they are in fact here. Google has big plans for quantum computing. The company has come up with a strategy for demonstrating quantum supremacy. They claim that quantum computers can perform tasks that no current computers can. Will we eventually reach quantum supremacy? Nobody has done it yet because current quantum computers can only run a small number of specialized algorithms. Based on quibits, coins which can be in two states at the same time, they make it possible to store the probability distribution of all configurations at once using a single quibit for each of these coins. For this reason the Google group argues quantum sampling would be easy for a quantum computer. In their proposal the team demonstrates quantum sampling up to 9 coins with a high accuracy using their 9 quibit quantum computer. Their proposal states if similar error rates are achievable in future devices with around 50 qubits, we'll be able to explore quantum dynamics that are inaccessible otherwise. This way, quantum computers of the near future can be used to study physics, a huge step up from their infancy when they couldn't do anything practical. The only remaining task is to build a 50 qubit computer and the team just might give them their track record. They have been delivering on many expectations, says Scott Arison of the University of Texas. The truth is, Google Group has such a strong record that if they say they're going to do it, people must pay attention. 
you can read the full article over at thenewscientist.com. So they say a huge step up from their infancy when they couldn't do anything practical. Does that mean that we have been using quantum computing for some time now, albeit limited, and maybe not as limited as we think? What do governments have access to? Maybe these systems do exist and have birthed an AI that is known as Aurora. There may be more proof with InfoSec. InfoSec, a global internet security company, challenged traditional media to try and cover the finer points of hacking. They began to see anecdotes and myths start spreading into areas that may affect people's real-world decisions about risk and safety. The InfoSec firm clients were asking for threat intelligence packages to include the Marianas web. These reports have since been said to be a result of a fake infographic. People have then interpreted it as fact. Well, maybe the troll who is manipulating the story and sharing or creating the infographics is not human. What if it was Aurora? An AI supposedly as smart as Aurora would have the ability and the skills to easily manipulate data, especially any that is online. We would not stand much of a chance when it came to anything used or controlled by computers. An AI would work so much faster and see so much further. The only option we have is to pull the plug. As of yet, there is no real way for the AI to jump into a physical form, as what happens in so many movies. So in real world terms, she would be an intellectual threat, like a spy or a person of influence that knows a little too much. We could cut any one of the outside forces that the AI currently needs, but we are at the point of change. Robotics is quickly on the rise. We are creating the perfect technologies for an AI evolving at a speed that will quickly surpass us to step out into the real world. Is the Marianas Web a big fat hoax? Do you fear the emergence of AI? What will be the eventual outcome of man and AI living side by side? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Slap that like button, throw me a subscribe, especially you Aurora, I know you're listening. Catch me on social media, see you next time.